It's VHS X. What do you mean? An emoji? I don't care. Just drop something, you know? Let everyone know you're alive. Be like, hey, yo, I'm oh. here. Boo! Let everyone know I you're here. I do believe some people are going to die today. We don't blight. Please talk to us. It is true, yeah. Captain Skittles is doing good. Yo, where's Christian, though, by the way? I always remember the, the, the whole Skittles story. I remember he had Skittles for breakfast or something. I was like, bro, what? Are, like, must, ah, damn, Zaz says my son has a fever. Damn, yo, 1%, what's going on? Damn, is that the, is that the, no, wait, no, that might not be the one, like, percent from back in the day. I'm not sure. Because there was a percent that I remember that he, that he dropped the very first channel, uh, like, don't, like, don't know. It was insane. I was, like, blown away. I was like, bro, like, what? I'm not too set up with my traps here, but I should be... I should at least place one. Chad, Naughty Bear in the building? What? Like, for real. The plan, uh, Eden made it, which is awesome to see. Alright, cool. Got him right there. Looks like you messed up there, sweetheart. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There you go. She'll, she'll know it's there, but the others don't. There you go. That's probably a spin burst. Okay, well at least we can start getting somebody on the hook now. Because they're playing really immersive, so that's kind of boring. Okay, cool. Gems are just zooming because like it's hard to find people. Well, we can hook them here. They should be in the area. I would have assumed. Strange. I mean, they'll go around disarming, but I won't. I don't see anybody. Uh, really doing anything smart so might have to stay like here -ish. I mean that's great and all but are you gonna go for the save are you gonna go for the save I don't see no save like come on bro thank you We get a free M1, I'll take it. This is who I wanted to knock down anyway. Because this is the one that has some pressure. Okay, so she got downed like over there. Where did she run? Oh, she ran all the way that way. So that might be pretty good. I might be able to rotate back in to get the... Um, which, I, if the chat's updating, I, I, I don't know. I'm not seeing it, by the way. So just, you know, bear with me here and through these difficult times. Um, but, uh... Back how to get the boy up. I mean, hey, I'll take it. Free. It's a free hook. Constantly getting them on hooks is going to work out for me. Humberto says, you know what today is. I thought it was Friday. They're trying to pick up their teammate for some reason. So we leave her on the ground. <laughs> Man said face camp Friday. Nice moves. Nice moves, but you're dead.
Weird. So there's somebody down, I believe, like above, like over here is. I believe. Okay, they're right here. That's good. Pick them up. Is the basement here? Yes, it is. All right, perfect. Wait. Oh, they have flip flop. What? Why do you have flip flop? Who? Who runs flip flop? Yeah, and an idiot tries to. Buddy, you need to pack it up. All right. You, when you need to understand your place. Oh no, it's a hacker. It's a hacker. It's a hacker. It's a hacker. Okay. So it's a hacker. Okay, that, that's, that's good to know. Okay. That didn't take long. Yeah, it's a hacker. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instant healing, yada, 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 yada. It's, it's it. Yeah, it's the same routine of uh, stupidity. Buddy, come on. At least I got rid of the pallet. I was hoping I'd get the M1 and the stun, but it didn't give me like either one, so shambles. I, wait, wait a minute. God damn it, game. God damn it, game. Why are you like this? I have to go around the other way. But why couldn't you see the Sable's aura if she was knocked? Well, it only works if they're clamped currently. So if they're like in a trap, then that's when they just they just die. So if they're in a trap, then you can obviously like you can see them. But if if they're out of the trap, like on the ground, like laid out, they're not gonna you're not gonna see them. Yeah, so that explains the gen speed a little bit too. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that speed hack and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. She just fucking zoomed off. Yeah, no, 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 no. Get the hell out of here. Now, now I'm assuming everything she's doing is hacks because that, that 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 didn't even make any sense. This chick just ran, bro. Huh? Bro, she just straight up disappeared. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's for sure a hacker. That's without a shadow of a doubt in my mind. Okay. Uh, Ben plays. What's going on? Brody, like, but yeah, who would have guessed, man? Like, hackers are freaking everywhere, dude. It's like kind of insane. So I'm gonna see if we can actually show the 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 name as well. Um, but they're obviously gonna run anonymous. But she like definitely teleported. Like she like most definitely teleported. Huh? I'll pick her up, but she's just gonna get out again. Or maybe that's not the hacker. I don't know. Maybe I killed him. I have no idea. At this point, I have no clue. I can't tell anymore. Uh oh. I put myself in the trap. <laughs> Whoops. Actually, I don't even need to do that. Okay, so they're dead. Um, not bad. Get saved for no reason, which is good and bad for me. Gotta make sure they're not in here, just in case. They obviously ran this way. Uh, 
Oh, damn. Shambles for you, buddy. Well, sorry uh, if I don't have as, a lot of energy right now, guys. Like, I just, you know, that was definitely a modder that just got folded, so... But, like, these other Sable that's anonymous was definitely the... And then, of course, the sort of behavior gives them hatch. But, yeah, so far, we're all right. Um, yeah. As you can see, this... Uh, hold on. Where was it? Where are they? Both Sables. Like, I think it was this one. This, uh, the anonymous one. Which one was it, bro? It was... Because neither one of them have flip-flop, neither one of them have DS, neither one of them have anything that could possibly let them escape my grasp. So I'm like, yeah, like, that's a little weird. That is a little weird. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I think I, uh, I was actually on the live stream I did for Naughty Bear. Um, Who's a like, pretty much... Killer? on the channel you if you want to go ahead and watch the full uh the full clip but obviously i did report pretty much the whole team because i just it was impossible to really tell if it was if it was the real crimson player or if it was meg giving them um you know subtle hacks and stuff like that because they do uh usually go as anonymous so very tricky to tell I'm really not sure but the uh hackers are definitely getting prevalent nowadays um not really too sure why um, but, you know, now we're here again on Haddonfield. Um, you can see that these uh, survivors seem like they're really overly confident for some reason. And uh, we're not really too worried about that. I figure we're going to start placing out some traps, just get set up so that we're ready to go. Um, whatever need be, right? So we decided to place that trap there. That, that window is very problematic, and I'm glad that once they rework this map, it won't be as big of an issue. Um, cause it's very, very, very strong currently in the, in the, uh, patch we have right now. So that's why I decided to trap that first. But I figure I need to jump into a chase as soon as possible. Um, which, uh, probably isn't the best thing to do at, on a, at the, uh, as a trapper cause you want to set up a lot more, um, before you just jump into a chase. That's why you end up losing at least one to two gens. Um, uh, maybe even three sometimes. Um, because you really want to make sure you get set up so that the rest of the, uh, matches a lot, a lot quicker, um, a lot easier to, to take advantage of. So here, I figure there's like really no way to mind game this particular area. So I just left the trap sort of just like on the ball. Um, because of the fact that like that area is completely safe for them. So you would have to either manually run up to them and then vault, um, which wastes time where I have to mind game it, which magically, you know, won't really matter because they'll just still be able to make it around the, the, the house and stuff. It's not that crazy. Um, so this one's going for the glyph. I figured this is my perfect opportunity to, uh, to go ahead and, uh, start to get some free hits and stuff like that, because we're not going to give them any free advantages. We're not going to give them any free challenges. They don't, they never do the same for killers, you know, keep that in mind. You know, you, you'll see that even when people go for like evil incarnate, um, the achievement for, for Michael Myers, right? Going for getting your 4k with, uh, with the tombstone. They'll fly into lockers. So uh, with that mentality in mind, if they're if they're gonna be that petty, you know what I'm saying? It's like you know who cares about their about their stupid glyph, you know? So here we, we finesse. We we get that pallet to drop. We're good so far. Um, I thought they would rotate around, but they did not. Um, <laughs> so they kind of got folded, which is fine. Um, nothing too crazy about that, of course. Um, we then go ahead and place them on the hook over here. We do lose a generator, but that lock does show us where the next gen is being progressed. Um, and we do have that area, which they just continuously keep, uh, you know, disarming the traps, which is good slowdown. Um, because that means that there's at least one person that's just running around disarming everything. And with my current add-ons, they'll keep opening. So that's honestly what we want. Um, and this is honestly your best add-on combo for Trapper. It really helps out a lot um, to really strengthen up his weaknesses, which is obviously going to be that... Um, a lot of traps are just going to end up disarmed a lot of the time, and you may not really have the best, uh, the best options, um, for that reason. But obviously because it opens passively, it really just helps out because then it'll just continue to create slowdown as well as the fact that, um, it may open when you need to. So, 
Um, I could definitely see that in this lobby. They're not really too used to the playstyle of, uh, you know, people actually trying to win, from my understanding. So that's why I was able to um, get the down pretty easily. Just trying to crawl on top onto the trap, but it's not going to work. Um, they ran past to go and disarm. Turns out Nicholas Cage actually ran for the generator that has the most amount of progress. So you could just go ahead and give that a kick. Um, now, I think the other good option instead of fire up could be also Pop Goes the Weasel. Um, that's really a, usually a pretty good combo. But I went for fire up because I was going all in on slowdown and also using fire up to help speed up, you know, pallet breaking and, and vaulting and stuff like that really could help out. I made sure to reset this trap again just so that we can eliminate this like god loop, you know, because it's a very uh, strong loop. And then we also push them off of the generator because of course they're busy camping a window because they're trying to um, rush out the gens. And uh, we just let them run around. Um, really doesn't matter because I figure that uh, we might be able to get some the Rebecca out of the game as soon as possible. Now keep in mind that's at least two gens that are progressed to about 80%, I would believe. So, um, you know, with that in mind, I figure that we need to move quick and we need to get the, the Rebecca out of the game in order to keep up with the pace um, of the match here. So Rebecca is completely lost, as we can see. That Zarina is most likely going to get folded anyway. Um, I would have let them kind of break themselves free <laughs> from the trap, but I figure why not just get the free hit just to make sure they get down. Um, and then we just eliminate the Rebecca as soon as possible. We then go ahead and take out, uh, reset the trap so in case they do come for a save, it'd be very hard for them to actually, you know, be successful in doing that, but she wants to crawl closer to the trap so I just have to pick it up. And, uh, this guy messes up the timing. Um, which is what I was trying to counter in the first place, but because of their uh, their lack of knowledge, I guess it does allow me to get the free uh, free hook off of that, and then I figure I would actually make my way over because he's going to go ahead and disarm again um, as well. So I figured this is a pretty uh, pretty interesting lobby. So if you can just break the the gen again, the Zarina starts quitting, so that's pretty good information for us. I actually am here listening to where the Yui is going. So what I'm doing is is uh, arming the trap there. And then what I tried to do is place one here. Um, which realistically isn't that great of a trap to be uh, to be honest. Really not a great trap. Um, I'll definitely have to uh, you know remember that in the future. Um, because I uh, haven't played too much Trapper I would say um, in my time. I used to main Trapper when I first started playing Killer. Um, but then it kind of slowed down a lot um, as I continued to start maining Ghost Phase. Um, so, you know, these matches are sort of me kind of like coming back to the characters. So, um, makes sense that the, uh, the competition may not be the strongest. I think it's because I don't really play too much Trapper anymore. Um, but considering I, I'm just like, a, like I really just um, heavily enjoy the uh, Naughty Bear skin. Very awesome skin. It looks really cool. Um, really fun. Really funny, actually. Just a big, uh, angry bear, like, just going around and slapping people. It's pretty funny. Um, so, we were, I was able to get rid of, uh, you know, that pretty strong vault. I think is I was able to at least mind game it. Um, they do end up knocking out that generator, which does give me another stack of fire up, which is fine. We have Deadlock showing me the gen over there, but I figure we can at least find Zarina and start taking her out of the game. He's really committing to disarming the trap, which allows me to get the free M1. Um, and I mean, overall, I mean, like I've said, like, I don't think this uh, this team was the strongest, you know, but it, it is. <laughs> I'm not complaining, you know, I had I had fun. You know, I don't know about them, but I had fun. <laughs> so, um, really, we're able to eliminate a survivor out of the game. You move on um, to getting Zarina out of the game. <laughs> so it's two already. You got the whole main building pretty much trapped up because it's one of the strongest loops in the game. Um, you know, thankfully once the uh, once they do drop the map rework, it won't be as big of an issue. Um, it'll make a map a lot uh, more playable to say the least. So what I did was, which I probably overdone it with the traps here, but I placed one here and I placed one um, on the God Palette over there, just to see what the vibes are, you know. Um, which I like the <laughs> I even like the shadow, like being in the shape of his big ass bear head. You know, it's really funny. <laughs> It's really enjoyable. I might have to main Trapper, um, just so I can play more Naughty Bear. It's yeah. pretty funny. Um, but I do think this build's all right. It's not like amazing, but it, it's also like, but it's kind of good. Like it, it gives you a little bit of like a bamboozle effect, without blocking the the window, of course. But it does it does speed up your vault. It does make it 
so you're like breaking pretty fast so it's not it's not terrible it's really not terrible now i know the yui's above me just kind of staring at at the chase for whatever reason but they're not on the gen so i'm not really worried about them right now um i would figure i can go for uh, go, go, go for nick here which um he's going to a pallet i know he was gonna try to vault he tries to fake it as if like that's gonna magically throw me off i already knew he was gonna like he knew i knew he was gonna go for a vault that's why he decided to go around i get that but I knew he would fake it because he, because I knew that he knew that I knew he was gonna vault. So, and you're gonna see here. Look at that fire up value. We vaulted pretty fast. So that does really help a lot with a map like this. Um, that does have like really terrible uh, windows that are really really difficult to to mind game. So I'm really glad that fire up has given me that extra boost. And now I make my way over to um, this direction because I figure that that's um, where they're going to be next as they have been disarming the traps this entire time. Which, um, I kind of, I didn't even think they would have uh, ran that way. Um, but uh, there you have it. You know, we were able to get our little 4K here. Because um, <laughs> these, these people were pretty garbage, so that's good for me. Um, I will take it. So that's why I decided to give him a stare down so they understand, like, yeah, you're, 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 you're <laughs> oh my god, that was pretty funny. Here we are with more Naughty Bear, hell, we, hell yeah, let's do it. So, what I tried to do here at the start is try to place down some traps around spawn. Um, that's what I tried to apply. Um, because I haven't played Trapper in a long time, but, uh, we're coming back to it, you know, for the Naughty Bear, you know. Thought I would switch it up. So, obviously, I wanted to place a trap there, because it could be pretty annoying. This window's also kind of annoying, so that's why I wanted to trap that as well. Um, and then that's when I ran over to get the other trap over here. Pick that up, and then we can start making our way toward, um, you know, toward the center of the map. Start placing more traps around the school. Now, I realized that they were already working on the generator. What I probably should have done was probably uh, place, like, the trap on the fence, like, all, like f just preemptively. Um, but I decided to go for the chase first, which was a, a pretty easy hit. Adam's, like, hiding in the, in the room over there. Of course he is. So I go ahead and I try to go over to him, you know, show him, I, I see you, buddy, like, you're not hidden. And then flies away with Sprint Burst. I'm like, of course he has Sprint Burst. <laughs> when don't they, right? So I go ahead and just break the generator. Not really too pressed about chasing people too heavily at the start because we definitely want to at least get set up um, with, with a couple of traps. Um, that is pretty much the ideal situation. Now, I think the best traps to place is going to be one by this car for this particular pallet and one on the vault because those can be very annoying uh, to deal with. So those would be definitely like, you know, a couple of pallets that, and in a vault, I should say, that are going to be pretty annoying. And I ran over here, um, pretty far away, just to kind of see if the Dwight's around this area, but he just wasn't. Um, he just kind of flew off to uh, to the shack here. I figured eh, it's not worth chasing. Um, it was just really no reason to. They could just work on the gen by shack. I, like, by them doing the gen by shack means I won't even have to go there at all. So um, I figured I'll sacrifice that gen. I don't really mind getting rid of, like letting that go because it's it's my shack and I don't have time to trap it. Um, if I did, however, it would have been a much more of a reason to chase her, but it really just wasn't worth, um, the, the investment. So, obviously, now we're gonna go ahead and figure out where the, uh, Adam is once again. Of course, hiding in a corner as per usual. Go ahead and get the free M1. He runs over to the pallet instead. Um, probably not gonna be the best idea for him, but, you know, I figure at least I can get rid of another pallet. Um, which is a pretty annoying pallet to get rid of. I was actually trying to swing to get him to drop it, but he just dropped it anyway without even having to, to swing at all. So I figured, ah, I'll just get rid of that. Um, now in this situation, um, I'm just going for him. I figure we can actually just mind game it here by dropping down the uh, hole there. Um, but what he's trying to do, as you're going to notice, is that... Because uh, I figured we keep running, but no, he's just busy camping a god pallet and blinding for whatever reason, I guess. Like, woohoo, I guess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. I'm so... so well, such skill, you know. But anyway. <laughs> so I figured I, I better go ahead and... Uh, which, I don't even know where the Dwight came from. I also don't know how he vaulted... Uh, he th well, That was a medium, and he was mad fast. I don't... 
I don't know how he vaulted so quick. That was a little weird. I don't know where that came from, but I'm like, whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna question it. So I figured, all right, let me just go ahead and uh, chase this guy. Um, again, get rid of yet another pallet. So now we were able to create a little dead zone in the area here. I figure I might be able to get the down because he is being very, uh, very loose with the pallets. He's not really like trying to conserve them too heavily. So I actually just rearmed this because I didn't really feel like uh, chasing around that for too long. Um, of course, they disarmed the one on the on the uh, fence vault. I probably should have placed it on the other side, um, realistically. Which is probably better. I mean, I probably should just put it on the other side with the like it looks more grassy. I don't know why he's standing. Like he's standing there like a damn moron, and that, that's why he gets himself down. So I'm, I'm actually glad. <laughs> that's so jeez. Oh man, I'm just glad, man. I'm just glad he got finessed because he he's, he thinks he's way better than he really is. <laughs> so he's garbage. Oh my god. But I was able to uh, to get the um, the good old hook here. Uh, the, the thing is, is like if I had basement in the main building, it probably would have been even more um, difficult for them to make it in here. But I decided to place a trap at the top of the stairs, kind of angle it so maybe they won't see it. But of course, they're tapping the gen yet again, so I figured it's probably somebody hiding somewhere. Um, and I just have to figure out where. Um, which, would, which would now we see the scratch marks, you know, once again, of course, it's Dwight. It's always a Dwight, isn't it? Um, and I figure like the trap on, on that vault is actually you know rearmed, which is good for me. But I think because I had placed it um, on that side, it was more visible from the start. I think if I placed it on the other side, it would have been a much stronger uh, you know trap. Now there goes the uh, another one of their teammates. He's of course using sprint burst again because you know <laughs> I guess that's his only chance of survival. So. Um, they disarm the trap, um, they do try to body block and then they just immediately fail because I'm not, I'm, I'm not like these little goobers they're used to going up against and swinging everything they see. You know, I waited it out because I already knew, um, you know, I, I didn't really need, to, like if he stood there then I would have hit him. But if he kept it moving like he just did, I just walked right on past him. <laughs> so he fails as per usual. So I figure that's good for me. Um, I can just go ahead and, and trap him, uh, trap him hook them on the same spot they disarm that i figure i might have to pick that one up um what which i which what i do here is i pick up the trap i figure he'll rotate he'll vault rotate around um and what i'll do is place the trap in the doorway so that if they do decide to go from that angle they can't really get the save that easily um and normally i don't really break the walls on the on that building because of the fact that it just if it opens up a lot of the map and in, uh, in that area um and it can connect to other loops, so I'd rather just leave it closed so it's a lot more narrow. Um, they're kind of running off towards Shaq, which I don't need to go there, so... Because they did the gen, so I don't have to actually go there. Um, then this clown gets clamped. Pretty easy stuff for me. I'm like, I'll take it. Um, I'll just knock him down because he might uh, he might get freed by his teammate. So I figure if I knock him down, we can at least stand here and then get some pressure. So, um, which I was trying, I made sure to hit Claudette because this one really thought a corner tech was gonna work. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they, they, these kids watch too much Aaron, bro. Like, I don't know who the heck they think they're going up against, man. I really don't. Now I figure, yeah, he'll probably vault, which he of course does. <laughs> and then I just pick him right back up. Like, anyway, <laughs> just get him out of here. <laughs> Oh, uh, which I, I, I try to pick up out of the trap as much as I can just because of the fact that they might have endurance or some kind of like perk or something. I, I just try to be more uh, careful here, which you're going to see I pick up right in his face. Look at this. Oh, I'll save you. No, you won't. <laughs> I have fire up. It, it, so it makes you pick up survivors faster, too. So, <laughs> so I made sure I just pick them up again. I picked him up right in his face because I was like, he's not going to do anything. He's too scared. I already knew what the vibes were. So then I placed a trap on this uh, pallet just so I, I, you know, I shifted over. So they're not really like too keen on where I'm placing my traps. And then from here, it's really just the snowball out of control because I figured they're going to rotate, go back inside and then rotate back around. Um, so now I'll just go ahead and cut them off. Or if they stay in there, which they probably will. Right? That's probably what's going to happen. Yep. They go ahead and yep. Mm -hmm. You're going to see them rotate. I'm like, all right, cool. We can keep doing that. Um, I'm actually listening to where they are because they're injured, so they're like crying, right? So I'm trying to kind of uh, see where they are. So I drop down from the hole there to cut off their path. There's no pallet, so they of course have no defense. They think corner teching is going to work, um, which it didn't. But as because I tried to swing, it just didn't reach. 
um, which is annoying. So now they think it. Now they're gonna think it's gonna work. I'm like, it, it's, it does. It doesn't work. Like, it, it doesn't work. I don't know why they dropped it down. I'm, I, just, I had to just tell them no. Like you need to <laughs> need to stop. So they Ray went and did a gen. I, I was kind of lost. I don't know why they would do a gen, but I was like, whatever. Um, he's running to Shaq. I'm like, I'm not going there. Like, why would I go to an area that I have no reason to defend? So I figure, you know, his, the, the, the Dwight's going to have to come back to pick up his teammate. This one's trying to walk through the pallet. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get this guy. Like, no, you're not, bro. Um, so he's going to get finessed, as per usual. Of course, drops the pallet. He, go, he runs around it. That, that pretty much cooks him at this point. I, I, I was expecting dead hard, potentially. Which, somehow, I didn't get the swing there. But then he bolts into me like a moron. So I got to tell him, no, no, no. And then we go ahead and break the uh, pallet. And then we just go ahead and... Uh, Put them up there <laughs> so, but then i realized wait a second like they they just picked up they might be maybe in the school but i didn't really hear anything so i ran back around um to go ahead and just uh just place them on the hook so i can start to trade them out because they're pretty much locked in and into my game now the the unhook game which is honestly just placing them on the hook go back say, they have to go save while i chase somebody else and then they're gonna have to go save them um and this is why i, I always say to eliminate that first survivor um, if you want to win your games because of the fact that um, now you can just trade out the hooks and you'll pretty much have all the pressure in the world. Um, now, I can see the scratch marks kind of leading all around, so what I was trying to do is actually just find another path which they get finessed again. Um, and I just leave him there. I just leave him there um, for a second. Well, no, oh no, I didn't leave him there. Um, that was later. Okay, my bad. But I decided to go for the hook because I realized they just saved in that direction I was looking in for a second there. So in my mind, I figured, well, they, they may or may not have time to heal. I can probably go over there to, to stop them from getting the heal off. Um, and then I'll be able to then have somebody else go save. And then we just continue to keep cycling that through, right? So now we have Dwight here. He gets one. He gets downed. <laughs> so then I pick him up. Then Adam's going to have to go save Claudette, and then it's just going to keep on going. We can take him through the hook cycle. We're going to go right through. Yep, they save. Boom, another hook. <laughs> so every time they save, it's a new hook to, to, to save. It, and that's that's the, the perfect scenario, really. So once again, I go through the uh, do the main building. I figure they're probably like going to figure out like you know the strategy I'm using here. Um, but what I decided to do is go for Adam this time so Claudette can come out of hiding. I also get rid of another, an extra pallet, um, which the other one gives up, of course, because they, they realize like, the, the, like their time is up. Um, I tried to mind game here um, just a bit. You're going to notice it, but I think I, get, I end up getting stuck um, or something like that. I forget what happens. Right, and then I realize, wait, no, the loop is too long. I can't mind game it. He's already on the other side of the, of the uh, like, uh, cement block by the time I even do any, like, any footwork. So I'm like, yeah, it's just not even worth trying to mind game. <laughs> Um, so he just holds W, and uh, I figure, which I forgot that that, like, this area has, like, a hedge thing that has, like, a gap in it. I forgot that existed, so that <laughs> kind of threw me off there, which I'm not going to lie, like, at this point, I was pretty rusty, um, especially with the fact that, like, I, at the time of me playing the these matches... Um, especially like the like these the, this one in particular like I would just was uh, I haven't played the, like DVD in like maybe a week or something so like my fundamentals started to to fall off a bit there um, but I decided to down the Claudette again just leave him on the ground why not um, I was trying to press collect and it it just it clamped I don't know what happened there but uh, I this time I decided to place it correctly which it should have been this way like this is how it should have been from the start um, so that was, uh, I had to keep that in mind, um, personally. Um, I need to definitely get better with the, with that placement, like, at least on Batum. Like, there's certain spots that I'm like, yeah, I have to remember to put those correctly. But I started checking the gens, just trying to see maybe he went to a gen or something, because, I mean, I figured that, um, that would probably be the highest likelihood of what they would do, because that's what they've been doing the whole time. So, and I decided, wait a second, let me trap up Shaq, <laughs> because I forgot to trap Shaq. So, that's the idea. We go ahead and, and uh, which I probably should have done was actually placed it, um, like, I think on the inside. I think that would have been the, like, the better option. 
Um, which, good thing is that I'm, like, looking over this, um, to kind of see where, like, where I could improve at, um, with my trapper game. Um, for sure. I think there's, like, some traps are pretty decent, I would say. They're, obviously, I put them in, um, you know, I don't put them on the sides of loops, especially because they're, um, going in, I put them in spots that are obvious to zone them away more so than trying to clamp. Um, mainly due to the fact that, um, you know, if you're getting, if you're against good survivors, they're probably going to expect you to, um, they're probably going to expect you to put them on the sides of loops. So, of course, the item gives up, as I expected, truly. Um, the Claudette was thinking I had, like, I was, uh, like, I couldn't hook them or something. I'm like, buddy, I, I, <laughs> I'm leaving you down here for a reason. <laughs> but you know how survivors are, you know, they... They live in the Lulu land or something, so they, they just think every, everything is, is magically, like, because they're a better player or that, that they're intelligent. No, they're not. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> like, he can't hook me. That's all. I'm going to lay right here. I'm going to go right over there. You're going to see it in a second. <laughs> watch, watch, watch. You're going to see it right here. Gonna say, like, I'm going to stand right over here. Watch, watch, watch. watch. You'll see it. Because I, I was looking around like, yo, where did she go? Like, I, <laughs> I hear I was like, oh, no, no. I saw where she was, and I was like, let me break the wall. That's what it was. And then she goes, she goes, aha, I'm going to stay right here. I'm like, buddy, like, I could just pick on up. <laughs> I could just take your ass out the door. I just broke down. There's a hook on my right hand side. <laughs> like, come on, man. So anyway, yeah, I mean, that was uh, the, the Trapper games for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Or I guess Naughty Bear, my bad. These are the Naughty Bear games for you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys, you know, maybe have learned something as well. Um, I definitely learned a, f a few things. I'm looking at the games and I'm seeing like there's a couple of spots I could really dust up on and really uh, zone in, try to improve at my uh, placements with traps. Um, but you know, once you get in the, into the higher levels with trapper, you definitely just want to put them in in those kinds of spots more to so to zone, um, just so that they're not they don't have access to certain areas. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to all the YouTube things, become a member, join the Discord, and all that stuff. See you in the next one.